so I have a lot of respect for the team we just played and tough day at the office right there. So uh, we'll take the win against uh, a team that we know very well. And I'm on the road in November, 10-1, and, and get ready for a rivalry week. I'll answer your question. Second row left, Austin. What did you say? Tough day at the office. Did you expect it would go down quite that way at the end? And did you? Yeah, when I woke up, to... or actually on Wednesday when I started hearing about the weather, it just you know, everything. We we are a balanced off football team, even when we're not balanced, it's tough. And uh, they had the same problem. You can, you know, we threw a bubble screen. I looked, and the ball was bouncing, and so it was just real difficult to uh, execute in the throw game. And had a couple drops, and so. Um, it's officially rivalry week. I'm not going to answer a couple questions about this game, but we're eyes are forward, and let's go. You surprised that they went for two there, and maybe just the surprised they threw it. Well, they uh, <clears throat> they were controlling the line of scrimmage. They, you know, once again, that was a tough drive for us to watch. That usually doesn't happen to us, and uh, but they're a good team, really good back number three, Ohio guy. Okay. Um, Talked to him after the game. He's a hell of a player. Uh, uh, I was somewhat surprised, but I, I've been in that situation before. You have all kinds of momentum and go swing and try to have the knockout punch. Far left over here, Bill. Yeah, uh, about the line play, um, they have an inexperienced beat up line, and, and you guys have played well on the lines, both lines. Could you characterize the way both lines play for you guys? Our offense. offense and uh, we had a couple penalties. We ran for two guys over 100 yards in a situation where they knew we were running because you couldn't really throw much. I don't think we played great, but I don't think it was awful. Defense line, you know, I don't. I'd have to watch the videotape. I don't watch much of that. You know, I know we had a couple big hits, and um, you take away those big hits, but they had some big hits against us. Over here to the right, Graham. That's a team that's had kind of a nightmarish season three and so. What's your assessment of how far away they are from where they've been? I, so I mean, I, I just got a lot of respect. I've been in the box hole against those guys, and and I know their coaching staff very well. And, you know, I have great respect for. I think they shot everything they had at us today, and, and they played very hard. But I don't expect anything different. Far left over here, Tim. You know, Mike, Mike Weber had the fumble there in the first half, and he came back to the second half and uh, had the huge run and then the touchdown. Just uh, you know, what did you talk to him about after that fumble, or did you even at all? But what did his game mean there in the second half? Yeah, he's over 1,000 yards as a freshman, which is a, a great accomplishment for him uh, with uh, three new stars on the offensive line as well. And, and uh, very pleased, you know, you know, fumbles and two big plays in the first half. I was, you know, that's not us, and that can't be us. We'll lose next week if we play like that. So, um, yeah, I talked to him like we all do. Let's say the plays behind it, tight ball, chin, chin, chin. We call it. Let's go. Over here to the right, Doug. Urban putting up 62 the previous two weeks with the weather like that today. Looking at Michigan next week, do you, will you be able to be balanced offensively? For that game, the way you want it, tough to win. It would be tough to win if we're not. I don't know the uh, weather forecast yet, and, uh, but we have to be balanced. And last year against these guys, the weather wasn't great. Obviously, it's a factor in the game. How do you feel like you guys, as a staff, handled it today with the plays you tried to call and try to deal with it? Well, much better. Uh, we actually had a weather plan. Uh, you know, once again, have two players rush for 100 yards against a defense that says we're going to be running. That's tough. Uh, we wanted to throw it. You know, I wanted to. There's a couple plays that were hash specific. It was right on the tip of my tongue, and then you start watching the clock. If a ball's tipped, or you lose that game. And so, um, you know, I, I wish we would not punt the damn thing out of the end zone again and try to drop them back in there. That was one of the most disappointing things. But I, I thought we did fine. You know, I don't think it's, it was a game of high execution because, uh, you know, on both ends of the ball, offense and defense, it's hard to run the ball. They know it's coming. And JT, 26 carries. That's just how it goes on a day like today? Thank you. How many? 26, I think. Yeah, that's There it goes, 24. 24, yeah. The way it goes. And, and last question over here, Austin. Okay. Urban, it looks like both Chris and Malik had their hands on the, the two-point interception. Is there any conversation in the locker room about who actually got the interception there? Oh, the two-point Yeah, it looks like they both had their hands on it. It doesn't matter, I guess. Buckeye ball, we're good. <laughs> Steve, right here. Ohio State has had coaches in the past who haven't worried about all the Big Ten talk, all the national championship talk. And when this week comes, they just laser focus on the University of Michigan. That's all you guys heard all week is you're number two, you're going to make the playoff, you're not going to make the playoff. Big Ten a little murky. Just do you, What's your thought right now about all that stuff 
in comparison to what this game and focus on this game means? Well, you don't hear it from us, right? but they don't live in a cocoon either, so I don't hear it from the media, the ESPN and all that. That's part of it. I'm glad we're here. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'll talk about it. I didn't talk about it then. We enjoyed the win. We're going to go home, enjoy the win, and wait for assignment tomorrow, and I'll probably address it at some point. Great. Coach, thank, thank you very you much. Guys.